started out as a backpacker, I wanted to record what I'd seen. And I'm still doing the same thing. I'm out there primarily now because I want to be outside. I want to see the wildlife interaction, experience the weather, and record it for myself first and then share it with other people. And I was lucky that what I was able to see and record, other people liked what they saw and they were able to make a connection. So that's what I feel makes a successful images. You translate the emotion that you had when you made the photograph. If the viewer can get a little bit of that same emotion, that makes it a successful image. My main motivation still is to, I just like being out there. Challenges are, in terms of photography, are pretty exciting to me. Technology is changing, going to this digital capture. Now we have more sensitive emotions in a sense, they're an electronic emotion. The exciting thing for me is, I can now capture and photograph things I couldn't capture before. It was not enough light, so I'm able to see things in the past that I couldn't photograph because I didn't have the light. The opportunity to illustrate to people some of the really cool things right at the edge of dark. So that's exciting to me. I actually fell in love with Yellowstone Park because it's a, it's a residual place of wild land. The whole continent and the whole world was like at one time. When I finally had an opportunity to hike through that part of the back country of Yellowstone, I realized how wonderful and how rare this place was. It took me a couple years to finally live nearby. I moved to Livingston, Montana in 1978, and I'm not leaving. It's as good or better than most other wild places around, you know, from Patagonia to Africa, to even Antarctica. It's a spectacular place. You've got diversity, you've got this wonderful things like geysers that are extremely rare, and you've got things like a, a wild wolf population that's extremely rare. So the diversity there is phenomenal and it's dynamic, which means it's a healthy ecosystem. It's not gonna be the same next week. So I can go back every single day for the rest of my life and I'll never see the same thing again and I'll always see something new.